What is up everybody? I am uh, just doing a quick vlog today. Of course I always say stuff's gonna be a quick vlog and it ends up being uh, a longer vlog. So, um, but <clears throat> I'm checking out, well I'm heading to the store now. I have to get, and I did a home tour yesterday. If you guys didn't see that, check the channel out. 2000 subscribers special. Uh, asked you guys if you'd be interested in that and I got quite a few responses saying that you would so I did a uh, full home tour okay and <laughs> last night I'm up it, it, my point is you've seen my house now if you haven't check it out it's a pretty decent house it's a nice house uh, it's a new house newer it was built in 2009 um, to give you guys a little bit of background on it um, it was it was custom built or it was built in my subdivision here um, but there's only about a dozen houses in the subdivision. The subdivision got to a certain point and then the developer sort of ran out of money so the city took it over. Um, and I say city where I live, it's considered a city but it's, to me, I'm from Detroit, it's not really a city, but whatever. So the city of Tullahoma took it over. Oh, my battery just died. Okay, well, focus. My battery died, but luckily, I had one left over from my M2 sitting in my glove box or in my center console. So there you go, bam. Uh, but anyways, like I was saying, <clears throat> it was custom built. You know, the the city took over the subdivision. So there's not very many houses. They've built about three since I've lived here in the last year. So hopefully it's, you know, building itself back up. But, um, but like I said, the guy built it in 2009, I guess something happened with him and uh, the wife. They were both older. I think there was both their second marriages. They had older kids. And from what I gathered, maybe the older kids didn't get along. Um, so they only lived in there like six months. And then nobody lived in it. And then he had somebody just trying to help him out with it. He was renting it for a little while before we moved in. So that's the history of it. So it's new house I mean there's some things that um, like some drywall issues and stuff that probably if he lived in it the whole time after it was built he probably would have caught but nobody was really there so now it's you know four or five years later and this stuff's you know starting to show up after you've lived in it a while but anyways my point of this was that last night um, after I loaded the home tour and all this stuff <laughs> I'm sitting in my office slash toy room now and out of the corner of my eye, I see something scurrying across the floor. And um, I text my wife, she's already sleeping, but I thought maybe she'd still be up and I text her. I'm 99% sure, dear, that I just saw a mouse run across the floor. And we have mice in the garage, which is probably a normal thing. But to me, I'm from Detroit. So when you're from Detroit and you have mice or rats or whatever, it's because you're nasty, your house is nasty, whatever. Uh, my wife's a clean freak. I mean, we got kids, so yeah, you'll find some <laughs> some fruit snacks or something stuck underneath the couch, you know, from a while later. But you know, we're we're generally generally pretty clean. Uh, so as I was sitting there and doing uh, a video for 99 Gamers and and just editing and doing some stuff last night till real late, uh, I see it running around again. So it was definitely a mouse. And I've talked to like my guys that work for me um, because when I first saw the mice in the garage, I'm like, oh man, this is, I gotta get rid of these things, you know? And I kept getting mice traps and, but they would just, they're never going away. And I talked to one of my guys and they've been to my house and they're like, well, behind our house, and I think in the home tour, you sort of see it when you're looking off the back porch, that part is supposed to be developed. There's supposed to be a road back there that connects next to, right next to me, because mine will end up being a corner home. And all those are supposed to be houses, but they're nothing but fields right now, or it's a big field. And they do hay, you know, in the field or whatever, twice a year they cut it down. And he told me, he's like, dude, <laughs> there's literally nothing you're going to be able to do because it's field mice so the you know if there's big fields by you pretty much you're going to have mice you know and i just and when i was talking to him, i was in the garage and that's what this mouse is upstairs it's just a little field mouse so um i can deal with them being in the garage but i cannot deal with them being in the house so i'm on my way up to get some sticky glue traps right now 
and I'll have to put them out at night and then pick them up before I go to work because that way it's not sitting in the toy room for the kids but um, yeah so I don't know if they came in from the garage or um, there's the one attic area that's up there that I showed you guys that isn't finished if somehow I, I don't know you know <laughs> I don't know but uh yeah so that's what I'm doing but in the meantime since I had to run up and I just finished watching some more World Cup uh, uh, the Netherlands just beat Mexico um, I'm using I saw a video with uh, and I'm not gonna it's on her personal YouTube or um, Twitter I think but it's oh I feel horrible it is the girl that does savvy sexy social I believe it is and I, she has a lot of great information and I will do my best to remember to put a link to her um, Twitter and face or YouTube account down below because she has some great great information about networking and social but I usually catch her stuff or I was turned on to her when uh, turned on to her I was turned on to her when she uh, did a video with uh, MKBHD and Austin I believe uh, Austin Evans I think it was at CES if I'm not mistaken but she was talking to them about networking and it was actually pretty funny uh, but she just posted another video on Twitter and it was her um, in a car I think they were coming out of Best Buy or something but it was her I watched one she was vlogging with Austin and Best Buy and whatever but then I think it's the same video she was in the car with Dom was driving from Mac Mixing uh, Jonathan from TLDR TLDR yeah and then um, and then Austin was in the back and then her and she was vlogging it but they had handed uh, Dom well I don't know if it was his I'm assuming it was his uh, RX 100 M3 but they're putting it on a mount on the windshield and it looked like it was a heavy-duty mount which I mean I guess if I really would have looked around I could have found one but I'm using a GoPro mount and I use my Q uh, zoom Q4 for my vlogging well I'm using right now I'm using that mount, pretty much the same exact setup they had I tweeted out and Dom was nice enough to respond back and let me know what it was and it's called the fat gecko um, and it's a window mount and you can tell me how the footage looked I asked Dom how the footage looked and he wasn't sure because he hadn't seen the footage because it was Austin's camera so this is my trial with it and uh, let me know in the comments down below how the footage looks um, if it's shaky or whatnot because I know with the GoPro I tried using that Canon uh, was that an N100 I think it was and it was too bouncy it was too heavy but this mount seems like it's pretty good I have the, the uh, have it obviously in my windshield with the um, screen flipped up so I can see it it's really close it looks like it's not touching the windshield the screen so I'd probably like to get a little bit lower which I can adjust it but um, and then I also, they had, Dom uh, let me know that they also had a quick mount on it. So uh, he sent me the link to those, and I'll leave those down below also. So I put that quick mount, I ordered two of them. I put one on the Fat Gecko mount, which now is in my car. And then I also put one on my Mini Manfrotto for when I'm walking around. That's how I did the vlog yesterday, or the house tour yesterday. It was my Mini Manfrotto uh, tripod that closes up to where you can grip it. Um, and I put a quick mount on that also. So I have the just the one receiving plate on the bottom of the camera and then uh, a quick mount receiver? No, the plate on the camera and the receiver on the Fat Gecko and on the Mini Manfrotto tripod. Uh, so I have a spare plate laying around somewhere. I think I already lost it. So uh, anyways, let me know about the footage down below um, and how it looks. I'm getting ready to actually Actually, I'll do it right now on my Instagram, and it'll tweet and put on my Facebook. But I will do a picture of the setup right now as I'm vlogging with my HTC One. Let's see if you can see it that good. Eh, I guess you can, I'll get a little bit from the side. So yeah, that's about it. I will see you guys. It's a rainy day. Maybe I'm gonna run into Walmart, and I got a few more things to tell you guys after I get the mouse traps. I'll be back. All right, so I'm back. I uh, actually had a list of stuff to get on top of the mouse traps, um, but I actually got a bunch of mouse traps because we have problems with mice at work too at our shop. So I got some extra ones for that, and then I also got some things to try at the shop um, 
They're like these, I think they, they let off some kind of frequency. They plug into your outlet. And they're supposed to keep vermin away. I'm gonna try that too. Maybe just in the garage, I don't know. So got all that stuff, got some, some groceries, and then uh, that's about it. So I'm sort of digging the, I, I need to look at the footage from this to make sure. I'm not sure if I go over, well I go over train tracks on my way home and on my way here, so I'm not sure how that's gonna look if it's bouncing and vibrating, but I can't imagine it's much different than my GoPro mount for my Q4, so if this works out, it would be nice to just use the same camera to walk around and vlog with and put in the car. Uh, and it, like I said, it's super easy transferring it with that quick release plate um, using the same one on the Fat Gecko and the uh, Mini Manfrotto tripod. I'll put links to everything down below because, like I said, to me, and I know we had some discussions last night, there was a few of us going around on Twitter about how um, we were talking about the Zoom H6 and the Zoom H5 that's coming out and different um, equipment. And I know when I see that kind of stuff going on or and I see people getting it or talking about it, it gets me excited and makes me want to get it. So sometimes I have to take a step back and say, all right, do I really need that? Uh, which 99% of the times I don't, but um, like this mount for the car, the Fat Gecko, when I saw Austin and Don and Jonathan or whatever had it in the car, it looked perfect. Um, it's big, um, but not too crazy. It doesn't impede my um, vision driving or whatever. But um, So last night, but we were talking about the H5 and the H6. Uh, I had the H6 and sold it to, uh, I sold it a few months ago. So... You know, it was just, to me, it was too big for what I do. Um, I don't need, you know, all those audio inputs and things like that. I use one mic or, you know, maybe at some point, maybe I'll use two, but it was just, and it was big and bulky and hard, you know, you couldn't just hold it real good. And even when it sat, if I put it on top of my camera, it wasn't, it didn't look quite right because it was so big and bulky, it looked like it would snap off or something, so. Um, but they just, they announced, I don't know when they announced it, I just became aware of it. I get a newsletter from Zoom in my email. And they announced the H5, which is like a scaled down version of the H6, but it still has the interchangeable modules on the top. And I think that's super, super cool. And it's, like I said, slimmed down, um, a lot lighter, they said. But they said the internals are pretty much the, well, they are the exact same as the H6. So you're just, what you're losing out on is it's a hundred and, I want to say $170 cheaper, $160 cheaper than the H6. And you lose some inputs for the mic. You don't have the full color screen, which doesn't really make that big of a deal to me. Um, so you're giving up those things, but the internals and the preamps and you know, everything, I'm not an audiophile, but I watched a video, a few videos on it the last couple days. And it's pretty much you're getting the same thing, you're just losing connections and things like that. But all the modules from the H6 will work on the H5, so that's cool. You got the shotgun, uh, dual, another dual XLR module you can put on. Um, well, I said shotgun. It comes with the XY, but um, the H6 XY comes with the one that you can rotate out from 90 to 120, I believe, to get sort of a broader range of sound, which I never used. But if you want to, you can use all those things. So that's cool. So my point was I pre-ordered the H5. Um, I should have it. In, I think it said it would be delivered July 10th. Uh, I believe it's released on the 9th, at least on Amazon, it's released on the 9th. So I'm gonna try that out. Uh, hopefully it works out better, me, better for me than the H6 did. So we'll see. Um, but there was a couple comments of people saying, you know, like, great, now I want one, or now I'm looking at this, or whatever. And I know that feeling of when you see somebody do a video on something, or um, actually, I think the H6, uh, Lou from Unbox Therapy did an unboxing of the H6, and I was like, oh, and I think I ordered it not too long after that. Um, the Sony RX100 M2, I ended up buying because I saw, uh, unboxing and reviews or whatever by uh, Soldier Knows Best and MKBHD 
and that got me really hyped about that. So then I order a you know seven hundred fifty dollar camera. Uh, so, anyways, but the M3, my man Miguel on Twitter gets me all hyped up because he sends me links of all new stuff coming out or whatever. And then you know once I watch a video or two, pretty much hooked. But the RX 100 M3, M2. I never tried the one the M1, but is a fantastic camera. I mean unbelievably great camera pocket camera uh, so anyways i'm about to roll up in the house and try to catch me some mice i will see you guys in the next video uh, make sure you check out that home tour uh, it's 42 minutes long but i put uh in the description you can jump to different points in the house if you don't want to watch the whole thing i tried to make it short but it didn't work so anyways uh, i will see you guys in the next video thanks for watching